All right, another relief pitching move. Adam Ottavino, another ex-Yankee, um, is re-signing with the Mets on a two-year, $14.5 million deal with the ability to opt out after 2023 in case he wants to try to get another one. He's 37, so this is pretty good. He was pretty reliable and solid with them. He was pretty reliable and solid with the Yankees as well. So this is a nice little deal. And again, <clears throat> more bullpen depth for the Mets, who I think are not done making moves yet either. Um... Who else are they going to get? I have no idea, but I think they're going to make another move here and there. And, and also today, uh, the Yankees officially announced the signing of Aaron Judge to the nine-year. It's official today. So his press conference is tomorrow. It's probably going to be in, in MLB Network. I don't know what time it is yet, but it's official now. So <clears throat> what I don't know is if they have to make a roster move for tomorrow. I don't think they do. Uh, I think they have to make that before spring training, obviously. So... But that's what I got for you right now. I put out a, a video earlier about another signing. Um, Matt Carpenter, another ex Yankee, headed to the Padres. That video is down below. And uh, if you want to be in, in on all the other moves that happen in free agency or in trade market, be sure to subscribe to the channel. That's all you need to do. Okay? And uh, especially if you enjoy this content. I don't want you to miss anything good. So, and, uh, so that's all you gotta do. So, and thank you. I thank you for it as well. But that's what we got right now. That's the news. Adam Adovino. Back to the Mets, two-year deal, fourteen and a half million with an opt-out after this year. So I'm um, looking to see if there's anything else of relevance coming. Now we already know the Twins signed Jerry, uh, Joey Gallo. That's official today. Uh, Conforto has a decent amount of suitors. Michael Conforto has a decent amount of suitors coming his way. The Pirates also signed Austin Hedges. Uh, made it made it official. It's a catcher, so adding depth there. And uh, those are a plethora of moves we got right now. So anything else that comes out, I'll, I'll continue to put out videos. And especially anything in terms of Yankees hot stove with regards to the left field situation, we'll definitely be talking about that. I also put out a video earlier about uh, the Jason Dominguez comparisons because uh, a lot of folks are talking about him as being the next Mike Trout or Mickey Mantle. And I just urge caution with that. It creates a lot of expectations. And he's a dynamic player, no doubt about it. But I just compared him to... A bunch of other players in the third year of their, you know, right around their 21, 22 year old season, the first three years of the major leagues. Some of them who started at 19. Dominguez is going to be 20 in February. So just to see what he's up against in terms of the expectations, like these are the types of guys that he's going to have to hang with essentially performance wise in order for people, to, at least in my opinion, and if it doesn't happen, you might have people saying he's a bust. So uh, that's, that's, just, that's just my take. But think, take a look at that video because you'll find it insightful. I put, I mean, I got Griffey stats. I got Eddie Murray. I got Juan Soto. I have a lot of folks um, who would line up appropriately. Brian Reynolds, the guy who I have Mike Trout too. So um, with Brian Reynolds, the guy I think that the Yankees should be trading for as well. But let me know what you're thinking if you haven't seen that yet. I think you'll find it interesting. So, but that's news today of the day right now or the afternoon. Adam Adovino back to the Mets. Over and out.